You told Hoppo to beat me. You sure is ugly. How he died on top of me. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. As y'all can see, I just got done taking my hair down and I just <laughs> braided it into sections looking like silly Nettie. Fucking uh, all of the characters in the color purple. Look at all that gray hair. Um, I actually am having quite a bit to flare up on my scalp. Y'all know I got scalp psoriasis, skin lupus. My scalp is just over with. Anyway, um, so I've been digging and it like I got a little, I broke skin a little bit in the back. So I need to put a dye on it. My hair appointment is Friday after work. It's Wednesday. Um, oh, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow I have something to do after work, so I wouldn't have been able to take it down tomorrow. Um, and I need to dye it Thursday night after work. So, um, and plus I can't put a dye on it now because I done broke skin back here. So what I'm gonna do is I found these random palmers, um, coconut oil deep conditioning protein packs. So I'm gonna put this on my hair um, and let it sit in here while I cook dinner. It's like 7.30 something. I'm hungry, what time is it? It's like 7.40. I'm starving. I started taking this down right after I got off work. I'm telling you now, this is my last time taking my hair down. My hair cost every other month is already expensive. Um, but I'm gonna have to add that extra hundred or whatever it is for the takedown fee. This is my last month taking my own hair down. I can't, I can't do it. Can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. So it took me from, cause I didn't go out of work until 5.30 today because um, remember I said I was on, a, in the last vlog, I told y'all I was doing a flex work week. So basically I was off Monday and so I worked 10 hour days for the rest of the week. So um, I decided to do from seven, I did seven to 5.30. I took it out with lunch cause ain't no way I'm working uh, 10 hours and only taking, uh, a 30 minute lunch. So I logged that at like 5.30, which the time flew by cause I'm busy as hell at work. So i worked from the time I sat down to the time I logged out or walked away. Cause I don't ever log up my computer. I just let it, you know, log itself out or like close down. But anyway, um, it wasn't that bad because I was busy, but I couldn't imagine doing that if I'm not like super busy. I'd be so bored sitting at that damn computer. Um, but I got plenty to keep me busy all week. And then I don't have a flex week next week. So I work my regular schedule and then so on and so forth. So I'm just putting it on there. I'm gonna let it chill in my hair. Oh, by the way, here's my fallout from taking my hair down. It's some net mix in there, but this is the amount of hair I lost, which is pretty normal. Like pretty normal for the amount of hair I lose. My hair stays up for a little over two months every time. So that's pretty normal for me. And then when I take the sew in out, I just um, make sure I comb through my hair to get that out. And I use a bigger comb. I know y'all be using like the, the brushes and stuff like that. I just, I don't care that much. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, you know, I'm not like, oh, my hair, my look, hair is not that precious to me. So I'm not buying a hundred dollar brush because I, I just don't care that much. I promise you it's getting sold up, braided up, something up. So it is what it is. It's highly unlikely that I'll ever probably wear my hair out again. Um, Just because, baby, she kinks. And I ain't got time for that. I know y'all see that neck. That neck is crazy. Whew. Anyway, what else is going on? That's it. I ain't really got much of anything else going on over here in these streets. Just wanted to open the vlog up for this week. I haven't even uh, edited last like, uh, fuck. What? Angela, what? I haven't even edited last week's vlog. I said I was gonna do it tonight, but then I was like, oh, I probably need to take my hair down tonight because I got something to do tomorrow. And then I can start editing tonight, probably until like, if I eat, I don't know, I ain't gonna have time. I gotta go to bed because I gotta get up for the gym in the morning. I was gonna say maybe I could edit 
for about an hour, but it's already 7.42. Um, by the time I get done doing this, it'll probably be 8 o'clock. Then I have to cook and eat. I'm usually in the bed by 8.30. I'm going to get in the bed late. So I'm probably going to get in the bed till like 10 because I'm going to have to get in the shower. Because I got hair crumbs all over me. Then wash this out of my head. It's not going to happen tonight. So I'm going to have to start editing the vlog tomorrow when I get back from um, the event that I'm going to. And then, is it tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. And then Thursday, I'll finish editing it. So it probably won't go up until Friday. Oops. This one ain't as curly. That's where my leave out at. Anyway, let me finish doing this. And then I'll highlight you. Like I said, I just wanted to open the vlog. And I'll talk to y'all in a minute. I gotta get these nails done. Baby, they popping off left and right. Y'all, work is whooping my ass this week. Uh, but I got a little package from St. Laurent. Uh, I actually just backed away from the compute. Y'all know I'm working that, though, like 10 hour days because I was doing the flex week this week. Um, and I have this much time to get ready to head to the MCA for this event. But I wanted to show y'all really quickly. I got a new like PR package from uh, YSL Beauty. I love getting packages from them because I like all that shit. So it's a fragrance. I have the Libre. They, so they said the Libre Intense. I use that. I use that up so quick because that is very much my like smell profile. Intense is my favorite. I actually need to rebuy that. And then I have the regular Libre, which I like too. And I typically wear that for like daytime or whatever. And then this one is a new one. This is Libre, but it's Flowers and Flames. So it's not Intense. Again, Intense is my favorite from this like range. It smells so good. It smells so good, baby. I used that. I, I probably had that for like a month. I had to spray it all up. I still have the regular one though. Because like I said, I typically use it in the daytime. And I don't be going to wear it in the daytime. Most of the time I go at night. So I wear that or I wear my Byredo. Uh... I always forget Sundance, some, 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 I can't remember the name of but pretty much like the same smell profile as Libre Intense. And this is their newest one. Can I show this right now? Does it have a specific date? It don't. Okay, anyway, let's smell this. They sent me the little one of this one. That, I got look. Look at me being ungrateful. I got the bigger one of the Libre, uh, just the regular Libre and the Intense. They sent me a a, a, a little one. Mmm, that smells good. It's more like floral. Definitely more floral than the in, uh, Intense. It smells just like the regular one to me. Maybe a little more floral than the regular one, but it don't smell that different. It smell good. Maybe when it dry down. Let's see, warm kissed floral fragrance. Um, at the heart of floral blooms, a sun kissed and creamy cocoa palm, tree flower melted with spicy and solar lily flower. I'm waiting on the spice. I'm waiting on the smile. The, it says it has a base of rich vanilla. Um, so I'm waiting on like the vanilla -y warmth to like come through. Maybe when it dry down. But it smells good. I'm still team intense. Intense is just intense is just that girl. Okay, she is that girl. She is that girl. Okay, anyway. That's what I got from YSL Beauty today. I need to get dressed so I can get out of here. Let me quit playing. I don't. I think I'm gonna wear this shirt. It's wrinkled, and I need to slick my pony a little more. Oh, by the way, this is my hair. Um, I need to slick my little pony some more, um, and then fix this part because it's so thick and bushy. I just like pinned it up while I was working. Anyway, I, let me let me stop talking. Oh no.
hairdresser but this is z hair girl i love it i love it i told blake i was like okay i'm gonna make a, a video as soon as i get home or whatever because i do be waiting till the next day i done slept on the hair and everything so i made a cutie little tiktok i'll insert it in here Boop. public service announcement i don't really got nothing to say i just want y'all to see my new hair <coughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 71, 72. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Hold on. Because this is how I left the hairdresser. <coughs> 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. <laughs> That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I told y'all last week. If you wanted to talk to me, you had to talk to me last week because once I went and got these inches, you couldn't talk to me. <laughs> Period. <coughs> Period. Y'all know I went to Blake. I told y'all we locked in. I'm not switching up. Went long. Some reason over to September 22nd, but you know, I mean, I guess I could take these off now. <laughs> Summer is it over until September 22nd, but you know, I thought I'd get into fall pretty early. Anyway, I just want y'all to see my new hair. <laughs> Anyway, that was the hair immediately from the hairdresser, even though my little curls fell. It's hot outside, though, and the wind. You know, struggle wind be hey. But anyway, girl, this is it. I am obsessed with my hair, period. I'm supposed to go get drinks, some wine, and a um, little, little cheese uh, with my homegirl later. It's raining right now, so hopefully she want to go a little later when it stop raining. But, y'all, I'm so obsessed with my hair. He is down. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care what the price is. I'm gonna pay it every time. I'm gonna pay it every time. Anyway, um, this is my hair. Oh my eye itches so bad, but my hair look good. My hair look good. My eyes itching because I got one more pair of contacts. I was supposed to change two contacts early this week. I got one more pair of contacts, and um, I don't have an eye appointment until. The 30th so I'm trying to wait until Monday I never let my my contacts go past two weeks but girl we're gonna have to stretch it out and you know what it is it's because I put a couple pair in my um in my travel bag so I only have one pair left and so um I'm gonna change it Monday anyway but they itchy like my eyes probably like girl okay it's been two weeks what the fuck Anyway, I just look cute. I just want to keep talking because I look so fucking cute. Like, this is period, period. I seen big um, a selfie. I'm like, you like my hair? You're like, of course I like your hair and that face. You know, you got to call. You got to send your boobs. Only got one. But if I had more than one, I would send it to all of them. You know, you got to send them your um, picture to get that positive reinforcement. He like anything, though. Every time I send him something, I be like, you like this? He be like, yeah. But this eats. Anyway. I'm gonna find me something to eat and then uh, I'm about to put my glasses on because these contacts are killing me and then I might hang out head out with my homegirl later on if the rain let up because we not going out there day one with, our, with, with no rain with our fresh hair please we're not doing that it's 12:46 a.m. I was out way too late I'm exhausted I'm about to try to put some flexi rides in this hair, which is why we're back in this bathroom. I need to get some of those like heatless curler things. All the curl is gone, but like I said, I've been outside since the last time we talked. What did we do? 
I'm a little tipsy. Not a little tipsy. I'm actually a lot of tipsy. <laughs> a lot of tipsy. I'm very tipsy. Anyway, we went to um, a wine bar close to my house. Me and my friend always go, go to this wine bar. They have like this really good prosciutto grilled cheese sandwich. And like, I don't think this is going to, oh well, it's going to have to work. I got to get <laughs> Um, I gotta give me some of them heatless look heatless curlers y'all be using. The girls on TikTok be using. Anyway, so we went, we split a bottle of wine, we drank the whole fucking bottle. And then it's a little taco spot like right next door. So we was like, oh we kinda hungry. So we went and got tacos and then her dude and his best friend and her siblings were out at the Hoxton. So we that ain't gonna look cute. Hold on. I don't even know why I'm doing this because I just told them I was going to go on a run with them. Just a slow run walk because I think I told y'all I am going to rest from running for a couple weeks. But I'm going to do a little 3K with them. It's a run club they're going to. So I promised I was going to go in the morning. Um, So I don't even know why I'm doing this but I'm going to do it anyway. What was I saying? Oh, we met her dude and his best friend and her siblings at the Hoxton. That's gonna have to be. That's gonna have to be. Um, and I just had one more drink because, baby, I was already late. I just sipped on a um. What did I have? Espresso martini. Oh my God, like why did I, do I go backwards or do I go, how do I, espresso martini. So I sipped on that. Um, Y'all, men be ugly. That's what I came on here to really say. Is to like try to ride this and then to say men be ugly. I, every man I saw was ugly or their outfit was ugly or they ain't had no hair and for me from, Forbid for me to talk about somebody not having no hair. Well, y'all know my roof missing. I got hella uh, hair fibers on my scalp right now. But I have an autoimmune deficiency. These men's roof just missing just because. Roof missing, clothes ugly. Two men in their head on top hats looking like Smokey the Bear. I'm saying. Mm -mm. My friend tells him, mm -mm. He look good. You could, I ain't, no. I'm not talking to nobody that think it's okay to walk up in here looking like Smokey the damn bear with this hat on. I can't do nothing for him. This is too little for this, all this hair. We're going to make it work. Anyway, baby, the options out here are bleak. I'd rather be by myself because I don't like how none of this look. They ugly, they clothes ugly, they haircuts ugly. <sighs> What a, what is I'm gonna do? Be single forever? I'm okay with that too. Anyway, this is gonna turn out crazy looking, but I'm going running like I said in the morning, so it don't even matter. This shit gonna be sweated out. But anyway, my homegirl. So y'all know the DNC is this weekend, right? So um, my homegirl, her friend is in town. Him and his friends. So they were supposed to meet us tonight, but they was taking too long. I'm like, baby, I'm tired. I got to go home and get in the bed. I can't, I, I can't wait. I can't, um, oh, I ain't gonna be able to do this. I'm like, I can't wait that long. I got to go home and get in the bed. So he was six dudes. I'm like, I need to see pictures before. Cause I'm telling you right now, if I don't like what I see, I'm going to be real standoffish. Like, he ain't, they ain't got no Instagram. He ain't, like, they out. In the city, they ain't posting on Instagram stories. Nothing. You ain't got nothing I can see. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm not the friend. I'm not going to be entertaining. Or ugly. I'm not taking one for the team. I'm 40 years old. I'm not taking one for the team. I don't want to talk to no ugly niggas. Like, it's not happening. Ugly to me. Because, you know, looks are subjective. This is terrible. It's going to have to work. Please wrap around this. I ain't talking to no ugly niggas at 40. Girl, this is been a little crazy in the morning. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Y'all help me. <laughs> help. Oh, my God. Anyway. 
That's it. That's all I gotta say about tonight. These niggas be ugly. That's the moral of the story. And that's all I gotta say about that. They be ugly. Oogly boogly. Anyway, I'm finna fight with this hair. And, um, I will catch up with y'all tomorrow. I know y'all tired of seeing me in this bathroom because I'm tired of being in this bathroom. But I just took this little curl out down here and it actually turned out, I mean, I look like I'm in Bama Rush. But I was like, oh, and my camera's still sitting here from last night. So I was like, let me cut it. Oh, no, that one's a little, that's, that, that one's a little questionable. Um, yeah, I got to get the little silk thing that people because these curls look like grandma so like, I, uh, uh, baby, they look like bonnie from um minnetonka uh, these curls too big but it, i guess it's better than putting heat in them when i brush this out this is gonna be so big i guess it does not matter because i'm about to go on a run so this shit about to fall and sweat out and all of the things anyway so there's that. So I was having a conversation yesterday about like conflict, not necessarily even conflict. I had, a, and I think I've talked about it on here before. I had a friendship breakup, like a friend breakup. I don't know, how long has it been? Since my birthday, so since March. So that's what, it's October, at March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So it's not October, it's August. So like five months at this point, right? Six months, five months. Anyway, and so it wasn't like an official, like we never had a conversation about what the issue was. It just was me and this person, hold on, let me get my brush. Me and this person had a routine. It was right around my birthday. I was planning like, you know, to go to LA for my birthday. And they all of a sudden stopped like, oh shit, it's still thing in my hair. Like, they all of a sudden stopped talking to me. So, I was, you know, obviously something was wrong. Like, the routine changed. I was, like, hitting them up, texting them, trying to, like, plan details for my birthday or whatever. Um, hitting them up. Um, they weren't responding. So, I'm like, oh, something must be wrong. When they ready to talk about it, they hit me up. That was five, six months ago. And I haven't talked to them or whatever. And so, I kind of had an idea of what the issue was or whatever, but... I ain't the one with the problem. So, you have a Girl, look at this. <clears throat> if I was going somewhere, I would just literally use the curlers to like hit this part right here. So, it'll like lay in the way that I want it to. But that ain't bad. But that's like too big. But I guess that'll give room for the curls to fall. And then it'll be fine. Maybe after my run, I'll actually have a really good like base to work with look this didn't even curl down here i just gotta get better with my like technique but and i need my nails done i'm gonna go wednesday um after work and get them done but this is there anyway so i kind of knew what it was or whatever um or i assumed it had to be something around my birthday like i didn't really know what it was because like i said the person just kind of switched up on me and I hadn't really talked to him. But I'm of the mind, if you're the one with the issue, you don't want to initiate the conversation. Right? Yes, I noticed the difference in how you were acting towards me. Yes, I felt like, you know, you were acting a little funny. But also, I don't want to assume. Like, you could have just been going through something. You could have just been in the point where you didn't want to talk. Right? But after a month went by, I was like, oh, okay. Like, it is what it is. Like, so... I was having a conversation the other day, yesterday, and it really just comes down to So it's an intent versus an impact thing, which, you know, I'm willing to say, look, I apologize that it came off to you that way. That's not how I meant it, but I'm not going to apologize for what I said because I meant what the fuck I said. And I can't, you, you literally get offended and offensive and combative over everything that you don't like. And like, I'm sorry, but I'm not a, I don't, 
I don't know what to tell you, baby. You gonna have to grow up. Why am I still in this house? It's 8.47. I obviously didn't make that run. <laughs> Did I make that run with my friends? I really tried, but y'all know what happened. My stomach. The mix of those tacos, that wine, because we took down a bottle of wine yesterday. Then we went and got tacos, and while we was eating the wine, we had like pretzel and cheese bites, like a prosciutto, and then we had like a prosciutto grilled cheese. And then we had the bottle of wine. Then we went next door to get tacos. I think I might have input a little clip of it. We went next door to get tacos. And then my friend, her dude was out at the Hoxton. So we were like, let's pop up at the Hoxton. So then we go to the Hoxton. And I had a um, espresso martini. So like I was on my way out the door. Because I already woke up kind of late. Which I was saying, I think I said in the last clip. So I was like trying to rush and get ready before I went on my little <laughs> rant. Um. Anyway, when I got ready to try to like get ready to leave out the door, <sighs> my stomach. So I did not make it. I sent her a text message like, baby, I, I ain't gonna make it. All of that stuff sloshing in my stomach, it ain't happening. Anyway, the show must go on. I'm gonna get some movement in. So I'm gonna go downstairs to the gym and do my regularly scheduled workout well not actually because today i would technically be on a run but like i said i am going to give it a couple weeks off just to give my leg a rest maybe it needs a full rest. my friend kept saying i've been telling you to take like weeks like take don't like no activity i'm like i did that at the beginning of the injury like the run is september 29th 8th sixth one of those the last week of september like i don't have time but she like i'm telling you you need to just rest the leg so that's what i'm gonna do today is the 17th so i'm gonna rest this week well this saturday i'm not gonna do any running next week i'm not going to do any running the week after so i'll start back running on oh yeah the run is on the 29th because it's on a sunday so i'm going to start back running on the first of september so that'll give me one, two, three, four weeks before the um, run to like get some training in. And so I'm just going to hope for the best, you know, and but right now I'm going to go do some strength training. I got to get this. Hip. It's this hip, this weak ass hip. Do some strength training on my hip. Maybe do like an incline walk because I don't want to not do no cardio. I'm also really fluffy. Like we were talking about that last night and I was just telling her, I was like, I'm so fluffy. I'm so much bigger because I'm not doing as much cardio as I typically do. And not that like you need cardio like specifically to like lose weight. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need to do a combo training. But for me, the one thing that has always kept me... <sighs> right is not only like running but also sprints like i would do sprints like a couple times a week and i never did like target at work or anything like that those sprints though like that full body exertion like that has kind of been my thing to like be like it has kept me i've always had like little abs and stuff and never really did targeted at work y'all it's so fluffy it, it like i just and i can't Oh my god i'm trying not to be that person because it like sounds superficial but it just is what it is like i'm just not used to seeing myself look this way and i'm trying to like adapt i've been trying to adapt my diet i've been trying to like i've been incorporating jump rope somebody made mention of like my arms and it's because i've been like jumping rope a lot trying to like incorporate some cardio and so like by nature of that my arms have like been toning from like jumping a rope anyway i'm trying this 40 year old body ain't gonna worry me but I'm about to go to the gym and um, hopefully we get into something tonight because my homegirl, her homeboy, I think I was telling y'all that last night because I was a little tipsy. Her homeboy is here and he has friends that are here. And so for the DNC, so maybe we'll meet up. Hopefully one, she was like, oh, he would like six people. I'm like, baby, if it ain't one out of six, then this, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. If you ain't got one viable nigga out of six friends, wrap it up. So that when you go to the. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, I am eating oatmeal. It is 8:45. I am taking today off of the gym. I'm gonna rest because I worked out every day this week, 
And then um, I don't have much of anything to do. I didn't set an alarm. I let my body wake me up and it woke me up at eight o'clock still. But I just started doing some like cleaning a little bit. Um, I need to wash my sheets. I washed, finally washed that pillow cover. I wasted, I don't know if I told you that. I wasted food like all over my like covers on my couch. Um, so I washed that. So just, you know, bumping around the apartment. Once my groceries are here, I need to go to Target. Cause I ran out of washing detergent. I need tissue, paper towels. About to go on target and run up a bag. I I hate it. Anyway, I went out for a little bit with my friend last night. I literally took the camera out to like show y'all my outfit and stuff before I left. I forgot. Then I came home, filmed the OOTD, pulled the camera out to talk to the camera after I came home. Still forgot, girl. My mind be. I love place. My hands are so ashy, but I was like washing dishes and stuff. Anyway, so for this week, I'm doing another bean salad because that bean salad was like clutch. I literally ate the rest of it yesterday. So it lasted me even through the weekend. This time I'm doing like a edamame sesame ginger type salad. So I don't have any meat in it, which is good because I'll have a meal all week where there's no meat. But it's like edamame, um, white beans, uh, cucumbers. Uh, obviously, I'll show y'all when I um, cook it. But I'm excited about that. And then my same old, same old. I got another rotisserie chicken this week because I'm lazy. Anyway, we'll talk about that when I get it. Anyway, last night, I went out with my homegirl. She has a friend that's working the DNC this week. And then his coworkers or friends came with her or whatever. So I was like, ooh, of course I'm coming. It's gonna be men. Let's go see what the men looking like. Okay. Not very demure, not very kitsy. No, I'm kidding. They were really nice. And funny and we were laughing and joking. that's the thing i was like telling somebody that in my um not somebody she's like somebody that follows me and we converse all the time i really like her but first none of them were like it's none of them were my type like you know what i'm saying so i got there i like immediately scoped the scenery out and i was like oh it, this ain't gonna be that so i'm about to relax and just have a you know a good time with you know people my battery about to die that when you go to the Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, I am eating oatmeal. It is 8.45. I am taking today off of the gym. I'm gonna rest because I've worked out every day this week. And then um, I don't have much of anything to do. I didn't set an alarm. I let my body wake me up and it woke me up at eight o'clock still. But I just started doing some like cleaning a little bit um i need to wash my sheets i washed finally washed that pillow cover i, I wasted i don't know if i told you that. i wasted food like all over my like covers on my couch um so i washed that so just you know bumping around the apartment once my groceries are here i need to go to target because i ran out of washing detergent i need tissue paper towels I was going to her to run up a bag. I I hate it. Anyway, I went out for a little bit with my friend last night. I literally took the camera out to like show y'all my outfit and stuff before I left. I forgot. Then I came home, filmed the OOTD. I'll insert it in. Pull the camera out to talk to the camera after I came home. Still forgot, girl. My mind be. I love place. My hands are so ashy, but I was like washing dishes and stuff. Anyway, so for this week, 
I'm doing another bean salad because that bean salad was like clutch. I literally ate the rest of it yesterday. So it lasted me even through the weekend. This time I'm doing like a edamame sesame ginger type salad so I don't have any meat in it, which is good because I'll have a meal all week where there's no meat. But it's like edamame, um, white beans, uh, cucumbers. Uh, obviously I'll show y'all when I um, cook it. But I'm excited about that. And then my same old, same old. I got another rotisserie chicken this week because I'm lazy. Anyway, we'll talk about that when I get it. Anyway, last night I went out with my homegirl. She has a friend that's working the DNC this week. And then his co-workers or friends came with her or whatever. So I was like, ooh, of course I'm coming. It's going to be men. Let's go see what the men looking like. Not very demure, not very kitsy. No, I'm kidding. They were really nice and funny and we were laughing and joking. That's the thing. I was like telling somebody that in my, um, not somebody, she's like somebody that follows me and we converse all the time. I really like her, but. First, none of them were like, it's, none of them were my type. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I got there, I like immediately scoped the scenery out and I was like, oh, it, this ain't gonna be that. So I'm about to relax and just have a, you know, a good time with, you know, people. My battery about to die. So anyway, we hopped around a few places before we were able to find somewhere to land. Um, like, I'm not a party, like, party person. And like, I just, Chicago isn't the place for me that like, if you are traveling here and you're the type of person that likes to go out, like you wanna go to a club or something. Like, I don't feel like Chicago is the place for that. Um, at least not if you're my age and you're looking for like a certain type of crowd. Even still, I don't like, I don't know. Like I've never like been out, out in Chicago. Like that. Not a lot. Anyway, we ended up landing in the get, we went in the ghetto, but it wasn't my type of thing, but that's what they kind of wanted. Black, black crowd, black movie, black music, whatever. So. You know, I'll do it for the plot, no issue. Like I said, they were fun. You know, we were laughing and talking, da da da, whatever. I'm saying I was having a conversation on um, TikTok because I made a, a video because me and my homegirl went out the day before or whatever. And we went um, and we were just like hanging out at the Hoxton or whatever. It's like, I mean, I guess a lot of people be there. Every time I go, it's a lot of people there. Again, okay vibe, but like, you know, I can do without it, but. So me and my homegirl was like sitting at the table. And the men were just, men dressed so bad. They dressed so bad. And I don't get it, right? And when I say bad, I mean bad. You know, like, I could go on for days. But anyway, so, I made a funny little quirky video yesterday on TikTok where I was serious, right? Where I was talking about how, like, you know, men just, I like, I don't understand why men dress so bad. And I kind of left the video at surface level. But I got a message from Spider and it was like, you know, you, you never know. You should really, like, give people a chance. You might meet them when they're, you know, on an off day or a relaxed day, da, da, da. And my response was, I get it, right? I get that. But I feel like I've said this a million times, if you follow me, is I have a really keen sense of what I'm attracted to and if a man has it or he does. And I don't need more than one conversation and more than one encounter to figure that out. I just am really good at knowing what I like and dating that, right? And so, you know, I, like I told her, I'm not a bitch. I'm not looking at men and be like, oh, his outfit is ugly. I, I won't talk to him. Like, I'm, I'm not a bitch, right? So, yeah, like if a man approaches me and his approach is nice or whatever, you know, we can converse. But an initial conversation coupled with what I see initially when I see you, it doesn't take more than that for me to be like, that ain't my type of nigga, right? Even if I run into a man in a grocery store that has on sweats and a t-shirt, he just doing grocery shopping. Or a man in the gym, right? Even in their leisure wear or athletic wear or when they're just running out of the house, there is a certain je ne sais quoi 
that I am able to pinpoint in a man. And it's not just the actual clothes they, they're wearing. You know, I was telling her it's not just about the clothes on the body. It's about like swag, like the like swag, like the real word of swagger, how you enter a room, how you walk through a room, how you exist in a room, how you're standing. Your personal style, that your personal style encompasses all of that. It's just not what you're wearing, it's how you're wearing the clothes, it's how you're moving through the room, it's how you're talking to me, it's your stature, it's your tone, it's all of that type of stuff that goes into it. So it's not just what's on the body, that's important too, because for me, I like to see men take pride um, and have a particular POV in what they're wearing, right? And to look like they have a sense of like direction and they put a lot of thought into what they wear in the same way that women do, right? And, um, you know, I like that and I like it to look a certain way. I'm attracted to it a certain way. But again, it's not just about like what's on body. It's how you're carrying it was like on the body. So that's why when people are like, oh, you know, you can dress that person up. I'm always like, I'm not interested in doing that, right? Because I could put the clothes on a pig, right? But if it's a pig, it's a pig. I'm not saying men are pigs, but you get what I'm saying. You still have to be able to carry it. You still have to exude the confidence. You still have to like have the swagger. It doesn't, I could put Dior on anybody, right? I can put St. Laurent on anybody. But if you can't carry it, you can't carry it. So it's not just the clothes. It's so much more that goes into it. And you know, I somebody on, in my comments was like, girl, you supposed to dress the man up. I said, baby, that's a young girl's game. <laughs> this is, that's a young girl's game, right? Seeing potential. If a man can't dress himself in a stylistic way to give off a point of view to, you know, to people that he's trying to attract, or pull in by 40, baby, that is, that is his POV. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? That is his POV. That's a young girl's game. You can dress him up. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, right? Um, and those are the same type of men that you, you put, you, you dress them up, then you get to their house, their house look a mess. The decor in their house is terrible. They tub dirty, that type of stuff. Personal style transcends across mediums in your life right so y'all can think it's not important oh he just you know he can't dress da, da, da. you get to his house his house a mess his car dirty all that type of stuff all of that shit is interconnected so for me like i said it's important and i'm not looking past nothing <laughs> i'm not looking past nothing when a when a man meets me what he sees is what he gets and he gets to determine if my if what i have on he like if he like what i have on if i'm attractive enough whatever the case may be he ain't got a guess da, da, da. even if i'm just running to target my run to target clothes are like put shit i get hollered at the most i get hollered at the most when i am just in my like cute little running errand clothes and i'm not wearing no lululemon shit like that ain't even my style i'm in um golden goose track pants Right? I'm in like dree sweats. Like I'm in like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even a Lululemon cutesy girl like that. Right? I'm in a baseball cap. I'm in a fitted. I'm in a fitted. Right? But you see me and I still exude what I'm giving. Even when I'm dressed down. Right? And so I hate that people love to tell women, oh, you need to look beyond. Men don't look beyond, baby. Men usually doing the approaches, so if they're approaching you, it's because they like what they see. You should be able to like what you see. And if you don't like what you see, then you could turn the approach E down, right? Like, stop telling women, oh, you need to, no, because men don't fucking do that. Men talk to who they want to talk to, right? We talk about how audacious men are all the time. I get men that try to talk to me all the time. I'm like, one plus one and equal and two. But they do it because they have the audacity. Stop telling women to n not have the audacity to go after exactly what it, what it is that they want, right? And say no to what it is that they don't. Even if you think they possess qualities that they should be attracted to. Like, that shit's whack. Anyway. That's my morning rant. I'm going to probably lay in the bed. And look at TikTok until my groceries get here and then I'll be productive again also and I'm even gonna hold y'all I didn't start it like it oatmeal oh I forgot to tell y'all I downloaded classless class pass classless classless is like a I think it's like a luxury consignment clothing I don't, I don't know 
I think I'm getting my class stuff mixed up. But I downloaded Class Pass um, because I'm gonna do like some different movement like once a week leading up to the race. They had a free month trial and I got like 43 points. So it's just enough for me to do one class every month. I mean, every week. So I'm gonna even either do P-Vol, which is a class that I went to like in an influencer event and I liked it. It's, it's like a full body, like a little bit of cardio, you know, like Tony exercises, all that type of stuff. But sort of like low impact use and like a lot of body weight and these little gadgets and gasmos, gadgets and all that type of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go back to that. I just, I'm trying to get my body to do like some different movement, some different stretching and stuff like that. And maybe that'll help my leg. I'm also taking the next couple weeks off of trying to run or whatever and just really focusing on like strength training, especially in like my hips and, and glutes and stuff like that because maybe that'll also help. Um, and then I'm gonna do a solid core, which that one I'm a little nervous about. Because I'm a little nervous about that, but um, yeah. So we're gonna do some new classes tomorrow. I mean, I mean this week. This week we're doing P-Vol. And then I'm gonna switch off and try to do solid core next week and then P-Vol and then solid core. So and I might actually keep class pass. They have like a $50 thing. You get a certain amount of credits. It should be enough for me to take one class a week. So I might end up keeping it depending on how I like it, but We'll see. Anyway, I'm about to go for real. It's been 10 minutes. I'm never gonna beat the people just can't grocery shop allegations because the way that this was $100 and some tax is crazy to me. $100 where? Most of this is like a couple pieces of like produce. Why? Why is it $100? I mean, granted, it's Whole Foods. Granted, I had it delivered. So there's a delivery charge. I had to tip. So about 20 three-ish of it is convenience fees and tip but like girl be fucking for real anyway this is my little haul for the week and it doesn't look like a lot but i swear this is breakfast lunch dinner for the entire week well monday through friday is typically what i shop for and then i'll just buy something quick um to cook for today when i go to target but i want to show y'all like what the dense bean salad is of the week because i went ahead and followed that lady and i don't think i linked it in the last time but i'll link her um tiktok in this one i promise anyway i got a rotisserie chicken uh Oh, I got my scarf back on because I got back in the bed for a little bit. But I got a rotisserie chicken. Cut that up for dinner this week. I also got some salmon, so I'll eat that for dinner this week as well. And then just my normal stuff. Eggs, cheese. I'm still on my little egg, cheese, and spinach sandwich kick. So I got that for breakfast this week along with oatmeal. Because I told y'all I'm starting to like it. This is the spinach for my breakfast. I can actually put these in here because this is where it goes. Still had some last from, left from last week, but it wasn't like a lot. Like I'm clearly running out of it. So for the dense bean salad this week, it's going to be I feel like something is missing. Something is missing. Oh, no, no, I'm lying. Okay. Shelled edamame. I need to let these come to room temperature. So I'm going to leave them or unthaw. So I'm going to keep them out of the freezer. So the beans in the salad this week is going to be edamame. And then I have some canna lily beans, which you can use like white beans, any kind of like white bean. Oh, I also bought some salt because I ran out. And I told y'all I'm very much a salt snob. I also am going to get the smoked one. But it was more expensive on Whole Foods. It's cheaper on Amazon. And I got to make an Amazon order. So I might grab it off of Amazon. But I also bought salt. Um, anyway. So the beans in the salad is the edamame and the cannellini beans. Um, and then the greens are going to be a cup of this cabbage. And then I'm going to chop the rest of it up and just fry it off. As like a side, uh, I need to pick up some bacon when I'm at Target because I forgot bacon. Curse word. Um, because I'm gonna use the rest of this cabbage, it's just like a side dish for dinner the rest of this week. So, like a quick little fried salad with like the salmon or like the chicken, and then the other veggie will be like broccoli. I always have broccoli because broccoli is my favorite. So, a um, cup of 
shredded uh, cabbage. And then it was supposed to be Persian cucumbers, but um, they didn't have any or I didn't see them. Anyway, I just got two um, regular organic cucumbers, which they're huge. Um, I'll use one and a half. I like cucumbers, so I don't mind just snacking on those, so that's fine. And then green onions, red onions, which I already had in the refrigerator. Um, ginger, so some grated ginger, some grated garlic, which I also already had. Um, oh, these are my apples. Let me make sure that these are the right kind of apples. Oh yeah, they honey crisp, because I bit into the apples that I ordered yesterday from last week. Those are not honey crisp apples. Anyway, um, so grated garlic and then two chopped jalapenos. Um, and that's pretty much the salad base. And then I bought some potatoes because I, I've been on a potato kick too. So that'll be like dinner as well. And then the dressing for the salad is, uh, she made like a homemade avocado. I mean homemade like ginger and sesame uh, dressing. Y'all know I'm not doing that. So I bought one. <laughs> this is sesame ginger, uh, ginger dressing and marinade. So I'm just gonna dress the salad with that put it in the refrigerator, let it marinate for the week. It was so freaking good. Oh my God. So anyway, that'll be uh, this week's lunch. And like I said, the salad last week, I literally had it. Like I ate the rest of it yesterday. So I'm not gonna top, the, like last week I put the salad on top of like Caesar, like a um, Caesar, um, romaine lettuce to make it more dense. But I don't think I'm gonna do that this week. I'm just gonna eat it this way because it's so many veggies. You got the cabbage, you got cucumber. Oh, you got the green onions, you got jalapenos. You got edamame, so it's already pretty like dense. So I'm not gonna add it on top of anything. But yeah, we'll make that later. I haven't let that edamame um, unthaw. I think I'm going to go ahead and get, like throw some shit on and go to Target. I need to make a list though. Um, and then come back home and then that's it for the day. Like I ain't got nothing else to do. Today is just very much a chill day, which is perfect because I'm so busy at work right now. Like I don't be having time to breathe during the day. So I need a really like chill Sunday. Uh, I am gonna get on live tonight, but like most of the day I'm just gonna lay around. So yeah. Yeah, I'm back from Target. It got to sprinkling. And I looked at the weather before I went. And it didn't have no rain in it. But you cannot trick me. You cannot trick me. I also had a bandana on my head because the wind is blowing blowing my hair all over the place. Girl, give me a mini. Okay, anyway. I got this like goodie. First of all, they had a few of these in there. They were so fucking expensive. Like $25. I'm like, why? Then I saw the goody one and it was like $7.99. It's a four piece. So I'm gonna try like the heatless curls. It has a little clip that I can put like at the top of my head once I drown up. I'll try. We'll try that together. I also got some more of these because where do they be going? Where do they be going? Where do they go? And then I got some little food things. My cream. I got a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna bake like three of these cookies and then throw the rest of them in the freezer because you cannot get me. If I cook more than three, I'm gonna eat more than three. And then I bought some espresso because that was the only thing other than the little this thing that I was gonna order off of Amazon. Um, and so I just found an espresso in Target that I like. I actually really like this espresso. It's kind of strong. It's stronger than the one I be using. So I just grabbed that. And then this little frozen potato situation, I'm obsessed with this from Target. I buy it every time I go in there. So that's what we got from, so, no, I'm lying. Oh, and I just got um, Thai OxyClean. That stuff ain't fun, but that's my little Target. Oh, bitch, hold on. I didn't damn near took down this whole bag on my walk home from Target. Listen, I, when I say it is so fire, it is so fire. I'm such a chip person. I'm such, I did not choose the chip like the chip life chose me. Anyway, I need to return a text message really quickly. And 
I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. It's 11 40. Yeah, I'm about to lay down to about three. And I'm gonna get up, meal prep my little salad. We'll do that together. And then I get on live at six. And that's my day, baby. But guess what I'm about to do right now? That be I need to wash the sheets. But I'll put the, the sheets in the washer while I'm on live. So I can throw them actually. I'll put them in the washer when I get up and get ready to start meal prepping. And then they should be dry before it's time for me to go on live. And then I can make the bed and all that. So I can just hop right in the bed after a shower. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. This looks so freaking good. Anyway, I didn't get to record the salad, like chopping everything up with y'all because my niece and my sister called. My niece called me to tell me that she loves my hair, which period, because y'all, if you know me, or know my niece and you follow me and my niece, y'all know that she be crumbing me. And every chance she get, she got something to say about something. So she FaceTimed me to tell me that she likes my hair. So I had to, I had to listen to that. And then also uh, we were just chatting it up. Um, the only thing that I didn't end up putting in here is, oh shit. Uh, wasting stuff on the floor um the only thing that i in, didn't end up putting up in here is the uh garlic because girl my garlic was bad i got the like peeling that garlic and i was like oh this ain't no good but anyway we got the edamame we got the white beans the cabbage the cucumbers i forgot to tell y'all that cilantro goes in here too but i had some cilantro from last week that was still good so there's some cilantro in here um, jalapeno, red onions, green onions, and then some grated ginger. And it was supposed to be, um, it was supposed to be garlic too, but like I said, uh, <gasps> that did not happen. That garlic was no good. But anyway, this is a salad. It looks so vibrant and green and yummy and oh my God, like so good and it's so much. It's so much. I only end up using one of the cucumbers and like less than the um, amount of cabbage called for because I just was like, oh my God, that's gonna be so freaking much salad and it still made so much. I'm gonna go ahead and put some, put the um, dressing in there too. I need to taste this. I don't even know how this tastes. This was the only one, um, it wasn't the only option that they had, but it was the only option that they had that wasn't $7 million. I was fighting for my life trying to get this damn dressing open. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Let me taste it. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. I don't wanna make it too wet, and then if I need more, a little more like dash of dressing as I'm eating it throughout the week, I'll dress it that way. But I don't want too much dressing on my salad because I don't want it to get too wet. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I do want enough of the acidity from the um, dressing to sort of break down that cabbage a little bit. Because you talk about fibrous. Baby, my stomach, I haven't eaten cabbage in a long time. And usually when I eat cabbage, it's either like in a fucking some sort of like wrap or something and um or it's fried so eating this raw cabbage might have y'all girl messed up the first couple days as my stomach like get acclimated to it but that's okay i need some fiber to run through this body to ravish this belly and shit maybe to go down because it's pissing me off being so thick and chunky Anyway, after I get done with this, I need to put my sheets in the dryer. I wanna make a TikTok. Oh, I think this is my sweetie face. Let me see. It is not my sweetie face, but he did text me and I texted him back. Um, so I thought that was him replying to me. It was not. Um, Anyway, just a little more. I think that's enough. Let 
Oh, this looks so good. Should we taste it? Should we taste it? Oh, I got these little pins in my hair because that shit was aggravating my face real bad. Um, let's taste a little bit. I want a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything on my on my spoon. Okay, I got a little bit of everything. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit. Just a tad bit of salt. Okay, help it. One more pinch. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. I did that. Well, the girl who made the recipe did that, but it's good. Stir the salt in here a little bit. Okay, let's taste it one more time. Hold on, I want a little bit of everything. A little everything. Yep, that did it. That did it. Anyway, I'll see y'all later after my live. I'm gonna attempt to use that thing on my, I did it earlier today before my nap. I don't think I did it right. So we're gonna attempt to do it again together. And maybe I'll close this vlog and go ahead and get it up. I ain't doing much of nothing else. And I'm gonna start a new one. It won't be as long as the last couple have, but it's something, oh, let me give y'all an overhead view of this salad, cause it's beautiful. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Be Angela, please, that's it. Hello, happy Monday. It is 5.24 p.m. I just backed away from my computer. And now I'm trying this again. It did not work out last night, so I did not come on here to show y'all because I don't know what the hell I was doing. But I watched a tutorial today and I'm trying to do it again and hopefully it'll be better this time. Now in the tutorial, they use the clip like in the middle, but y'all know I ain't got no hair in the middle, <laughs> for real. So it legit ain't nothing to clip up there. So I had to do the little clip on the side, <laughs> please. Anyway, I think it's gonna work. Oh, bitch, I spoke too soon. Hold on. So what she was doing is like twisting and then grabbing. I wanted to do it. I don't want to do it too tight because her curls was a little grandma susu, but that's because she said she did it too tight. So she would twist some and then she grabbed some and then twist it. Hold on, that ain't right, bitch. Wait a minute, see I was on the roll before I cut this camera off. I should have just left y'all where y'all was at. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's start over. I should have left y'all where y'all was at cause y'all fucking up my feng shui. Okay, so. I'm gonna take this first little piece right here. This includes my leave out. And I'm gonna get that twisting around. Stay out the way. I'm gonna do that like two times. Then I'm gonna grab some more here and I'm gonna twist that around. Come on now. Then I'm gonna grab some more hair Oh, my stomach is doing the Harlem Shake. That's them bean salads. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I just had a um, protein smoothie because I went to physical therapy earlier. And she straight had me working out in that bitch. And <laughs> I was a little hungry. So I had, oh, I did it. Look, please don't unravel. Please don't unravel. And then this little satin scrunchie, it's supposed to keep it from like denning on the ends. 
and you tie it around. It's some hair left out. Like, I'm going to have some straight pieces. Look at that. Girl. Well, go over on this side then. Anyway, let me clip this over here so it'll stay in place. And then, let me try on this side. Okay. So you take, don't, wait a minute now. So calm down. Take the little piece. <laughs> then I'm going to grab some more. You know why it's really hard? Because he put like fr uh, face framing layers in the front. And them little pieces just be sticking out everywhere. Baby, giving me the blues. I'm loving this install though. I shan't tell a lie. And the people love it. Even though y'all be so flip floppy. Because at first y'all was all about the bob. And now y'all like, oh, we love Robert, but oh, I took my nails off while I was sitting at the desk because I had a minty V because I had recordings. I, like, I met with somebody and had them record demos for me. And all I needed to do was put voiceovers over them. And we recorded five demos in that meeting. Tell me why I deleted three of them. One, I was able to go into the test system and read. Oh, I, I probably did that too tight. Huh. Um, one of them, I was able to go in and like demo myself. And then I, I'm going to just pin mine up like this in the back. And use my little clip to hold it in place, I think. Hold on. <laughs> but the other two... One, I tried to do myself, and I absolutely am not going to be able to do it. Um, no, I deleted two. Accidentally deleted two. So, um, okay, it's too thick. I'm going to have to get two clips. Um, so, one, I was able to re-record myself, like redo the demo myself in the test system. The second one, I'm going to have to ask him to redo it, and he's going to be like, look, bitch. I got shit to do too. I feel so bad, but like my deadline is September 2nd. So I got two weeks. I don't know y'all. Anyway, it's gonna have to do now. Y'all see, and I just clipped it up in the back. I don't know, that's kind of loose. I'm gonna have some little waves. It's probably not gonna be no curls, but I mean, it's better than yesterday. We'll just keep trying. We'll just keep trying. Anyway, also, I'm annoyed because I waited too late to, like, put some fillers out there for, like, DNC events. Like, I wasn't trying to go to, like, actual DNC events. I knew I wasn't getting in none of them this late. But, like, after parties, happy hours, da 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 So, my homegirl, she's a Delta. Well, she went to TSU with me. She's a Delta from TSU, but she's um, a part of the, one of the city chapters in Chicago. So, she got her ears to the street. So, she hit me on... Um, Instagram, like, I'm going to send you some stuff. And she sent me a bunch of links to stuff. Why did I wait that late to try to put some fillers out there? Because everything is, like, ain't no more room. Like, I really wanted to go to this party tomorrow. It's J.B. Prisker, which is the governor. He's having an after party at the Salt Shed. I really wanted to go to that. I love me some Pritzker. Also, I just was like, I feel like it's going to be a vibe. Like, it's going to be a bunch of different people there. However, that bitch is at capacity like you had to send an email to try to get on the um on the list um and they like you know it's best to like put your like job affiliation or whatever of course i didn't put my job on there i just um put my socials on there and you know talked about like you know the social club and building community and just like i thought it would be a great fuck i shouldn't have touched it oh <sighs> Now, look at, that's not how that's supposed to be. Hold on, wait a minute. Um, But they were like at capacity, so that was a bust anyway. I'm salty because that's the one I really wanted to go to. Okay. Can I just put that in a bonnet and leave it like that? No, because then this. Maybe I should clip it like that. But then is that going to leave dents in it? Anyway, 
I did get like uh, some tickets or you know like free tickets to a couple other events like Wednesday and Thursday I think uh, but I'm gonna think about that anyway <clears throat> That's it. I don't have much else going on. I'm think, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And then um, I'll pick it up for the next one when something exciting happens. Because there ain't nothing on the agenda but work. I do need to start planning Labor Day, which is in a couple weeks. Because I'm hosting Labor Day here. Um, so I'm having my friends over. I rented the rooftop space. It's connected to like the outside barbecue and then the pool is like on the other side of it. Um, so it's not gonna be a lot of us, but I rented that the space for like four hours. So I'm gonna have them over, get some barbecue catered cause I'm not getting on the grill. Like my friend was like, you have to get on the grill. I don't have to do nothing. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm gonna cater food and then I'm gonna probably have them just bring sides and just don't make too much. Cause whatever you bring, you gotta take with you. Cause I don't got no room up in here. So I'm probably just have them to either bring additional sides and alcohol like drinks whatever the case may be and i'll handle like the food i rented the space whatever the case may be um for labor day on that monday anyway um that's gonna be it for the vlog thank y'all so much for watching i look right i'm not gonna be able to sleep with these clips in my head so i'm gonna have to figure this out anyway thank y'all so much for watching um and i will catch y'all in the next one. Oh, I, I told y'all i took my nails off i don't get them done until wednesday I can't go nowhere looking like this. Um, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Actually, it's not goodbye. I just had to show y'all what my hair looks like um, the next morning. It's not right. But it's okay. And whatever uh, Whitney Houston said. Anyway, this is my um, hair out of those little curlers. I just have to figure out how to get the front part tight and like curl. But it's not terrible. Maybe I do want it a little more tighter. Like yesterday I was like, oh, it's too tight. I don't want them maybe a little more tight. I got to get the front part together. But not too bad. Who am I getting? This shit look terrible. Bye.